Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Chris Tower, and I just wanted to do this new little thing here. Um, this is gonna be our monthly video devotional for Unlock Heaven. Every second Thursday of each month, we actually take time as a body at Christian Life Church to pray and fast for our church, our region, and our nation. Uh, you can find the details and even sign up by hitting the link in the description below. So make sure you do that uh, after this video is finished. So this whole video devotional thing is just kind of a new idea that we wanted to try. And it's really just to simply help us join together in praying uh, and declaring God's word. Um, this really serves as just that kind of simple support, but also a springboard for you as you continue in prayer today. Um, and you can find the prayer declaration um, and, and the prayer in the description of this video. So when it's time later, uh, you can follow along and say it out loud with us. Um, so this month, my very own wonderful mother, Denise Corvo, offered to write the prayer and declaration. And she entitled it, Mighty God Who Sits in Heaven and Laughs. So since she leads Storm in Heaven, with Helen Pogoy, which is a prayer group they have on Wednesday nights. She told me about a recent prayer meeting where God's view of current events came to light. So this is what she writes. As we started our time as a prayer group, it suddenly became apparent how much the current events were clouding our sense of hope in the Lord in this time. It's so easy to get distracted and discouraged when the narrative of our culture in media is on repeat. But God helped us come up to where he's seated above all that stuff that clouds our judgment. He reminded us of Psalm 2 that he is the Holy One who governs the affairs of men and the nations, that he sits in the heavens and laughs at the rebellion of the nations. He know, We know that the Father said he would give the nations to his son as his legacy. The Bible says in Psalm 2, 1 through 6 in the Passion Translation, How dare the nations plan a rebellion? Their foolish plots are futile. Look at how the power brokers of the world rise up to hold their summit as the rulers scheme and confer together against Yahweh and his anointed king, saying, Let's come together and break away from the Creator. One and once and for all, Let's cast off these controlling chains of God and his Christ. God enthroned merely laughs at them. The sovereign one mocks their madness. Then the fierceness of his fiery anger, he settles the issue and terrifies them to death with these words, I myself have poured out my king on Zion, my holy mountain. God alone sits in heaven and laughs at the schemes of the power brokers of the world. The influence of the world may stand to be a force to be reckoned with, but God's program is in full effect as well. That king, Jesus, was poured out as an offering, and he now stands to reconcile the whole world, and he uses little mustard seeds like us to do it. Though it seems small, the effect multiplied is worldwide and vast. The gospel is spreading. Take heart, it's not over yet. God still gets to have the last word and the last laugh, if you will. So let's pray together. Again, you can find this prayer and declaration in the description of this video so that you can say it along with me. So I'll give you a second to go and scroll to it. All right, let's pray this together. Lord, it is difficult as we watch the news and hear of the evil that seems to be winning. We know that we are in the 11th hour of the last days and it seems to be accelerating and racing towards judgment. Your word says, be angry and sin not. Teach us how we can have a righteous anger about the evil and yet keep in mind that the great harvest is what the Father's heart is all about. Help us keep in mind that Jesus is worthy of his full inheritance of all the nations. 
breathe on us as your church to see the harvest right in front of us and to act and speak in the love of Christ. Thank you, Lord, for positioning us to be prepared for that harvest. Help us keep our eyes on the King who is coming soon. Forgive us, Lord, for falling short and letting discouragement have the final word. Send encouragement to your people in this time that we might be the great encouragers of the world, overflowing with your hope and love. We thank you that you have prepared the hearts of the lost to hear the good news of Jesus, and we want to be a part of that harvest. Today, we choose to praise and worship you, King of kings, Lord of lords, the God who laughs at the schemes of the wicked and brings salvation to those who call upon his name. We rejoice today in the fact that you have the final word. We rejoice that you have equipped us by the Spirit to bring, he to bring heaven's solutions into our everyday lives. Thank you, Lord, for sending us as ambassadors of peace and reconciliation, your naturally supernatural people, telling and demonstrating the good news of Jesus. We thank you you are good and your mercy endures forever. And now we're going to have our declaration. So there's one kind of right after the other, the personal declaration, the, de the declaration for the church, the declaration for the nations. We're going to say them right after another. So here's the first one. Let's do it. I choose today to respond to worldly events with praise and not give in to fear. I declare your promises by faith over me and my loved ones that Jehovah Jireh, my provider, will meet all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I decree that the church, the bride of Christ, will awaken, rise up, and shake off the spirit of apathy and put on a garment of praise and prayer and a compassionate burden for the lost. We declare that Jesus is worthy of his full reward of every nation and tribe. America and all the nations shall be saved, and Israel shall know her Messiah. Amen and amen. Well, thank you for praying, declaring, and agreeing with all of that today. Again, we just hope that this serves as a springboard for you in that even greater time of prayer during this uh unlock heaven event. God bless you and we'll, we hope to see you tomorrow at our downpour service on Friday, August 13th at 7 p.m. here at CLC. We want to encourage you to join us for a time of just being able to soak in God's presence together and being stirred up as it normally goes with those services. I've just really been sensing recently myself how God is in this gathering in the local church, just creating a gathering place or a dwelling place for his presence. I just kept seeing parts of a tent like constructed and I just had a sense that God was kind of echoing what the scripture calls each of us being like a living stone being built together for a dwelling place of God's holy presence. And I really believe that's what God is doing. Um, and downpour service is really what that's, that's all about, to create a dwelling place for his spirit to move. And um, we really just hope that you can join us. So Friday, tomorrow, August 13th at 7 p.m. here at CLC. And again, we want to just encourage you to click on the description, um, click on the link in the description, or you want to comment below. Just let us know that you are partnering with prayer during this event during Unlock Heaven this month. So thank you so much, and we'll see you later.